Right, I just did the short day today today because we're carrying on from the with the last uh, learn objective. Okay, so we'll get straight on to it. Um, so uh, actually, we're just splitting sh sharing numbers into a ratio again. Okay, we'll start off, and uh, we're just going to be doing three numbers. Now, as you can imagine, three numbers is not really any different to two numbers. If I want to share thirty into this ratio again, I'm going to find the total of the ratio. Okay, so it's, uh, uh, and I know that that is 30, okay? The total that I'm sharing in is 30, timesing by six. So I'm timesing them all by six, times by six. So I've got a tall ratio of 12, two times 12 and six, should equal 30. It does, 12, 24, okay. Just like that, okay? So it's just three into the one uh, it's just three numbers, okay? Um, we'll just do a couple more. So I want to stick £27 into 5, 3 and 1. And again, I'm going to add up the total there. Okay, total, and that comes to 9. And then the total, I'm yeah, times 3. Okay, so we times each one by 3. Okay. Just to check, adds up, yes, 27, okay? Uh, just be careful, when you're using bigger numbers, okay? When you're using bigger numbers, uh, so you could have um, 927, and you have to again share that into 5, 2, and 2. Again, all you've got to do is find the total, same rules apply. Okay, add those up 9, and then we go to 927. 27. Some of us might be able to do that in our head actually, how we do that, but if not, just underneath do the bus stop method. How many nines in nine one? How many nines in two none? How many nines in twenty-seven three? So 103. Okay. So we know that that's what we have to times each of them by 103. So we have to times by 103 times 103 times 103. Okay. So again, this is nice and easy. We're just doubling it. So that's 206. 206. Five times, uh, that would be uh, 515. Okay. Let me just check if that's going to add up. I'm just going to do this. 500, 700, 900, 15, and 12. Yeah. Okay. And then we're doing it that way, okay? Sorry, it's a bit squashed in there. Um, but again, same rules apply with three. So that's pretty straightforward, okay? Uh, just do these, please, for me nice and quickly. Okay, if we can do these, then we'll move on to the next part of the lesson, okay? Um, so share those in. Uh, pause the video, please. Just do those quickly. Write out the question. Always write out the ratio and fill in the gaps, please, okay? Press play when you're done. Okay, let's quickly go through them. Let's quickly go through. Okay. Right, so again, we're going to add them up. 7, 8. We go to 64. Uh, 8, 8 to 64. So we're timesing them all by 8. 5 times 8 is 40. 2 times 8 is 16. 1 times 8 is 8. That's 56. Yep, 64. Same on this one. Add them up. Comes to 11, then we go into the 990, aren't we? Okay, right. Again, this is definitely one where we're gonna have to just check. Yeah, note uh, how many carry the nine, how many 11s in nine, nine, 90. Okay, so we're timesing by 90, timesing by 90 each time. So these are easy to times by 90, two times 90, 180. 180, let's down a little bit. So we go 180, 180 there, and then 7 times 90. Okay, so again, we do 7 times 90. Let's cross off that zero. 7 nines are 63. Let's cross one zero, put that zero back on. Okay, and if I add those up, three, so yeah, that was going to add up to 990. Okay. Let's look at the last one, okay? So again, 
uh, add them add across 7 uh, and 4 is 11 to 12 then we're going down to 1 3 2 0 oh. how am I getting from there to there let's just do a quick sum just to check 1 3 2 0 oh, divided by 12 how many times in that one remainder one one no so it's 110 times by 110 okay so 1 times 110 110 easy enough 4 times 110 440 okay and 7 times 110 770 okay so we can add those up yep and it will come to so 740 yep okay uh, we'll come up to one three two oh okay so remember that's how we do those that's how we do them okay where we're um, writing down um writing down the ratio finding the total etc okay right let's just move on to some uh, it's basically along the same lines and because a lot of work today really is about it's about sort of applying this to word problems uh, today um so say for example the ratio of brown hair which is but the ratio of people with brown hair okay now the ratio in year six for every three people in year six there are two people in year seven and in year eight there are five people so that's the ratio okay of people in brown hair and i've just put the year groups above because that's often really often useful okay now if if um if 24 pupils in year six have brown hair okay how many people in total have brown hair okay so this time we've got to find this total down here we've got to find this total we need to work through the ratios there and find the total and in this question we don't need to add up the ratios okay we don't need to add up the ratios we write down the ratio okay so we've we've got the whenever you do a question like this you just write down that ratio and then you write down what you know so 24 pupils in year six so we would put 24 there okay if 24 pupils in year six have brown hair so now we can see how much we're expanding it by what do we have again from the 3 to the 26 with times in by 8 and we 3 times 8 is 26 so again we times all of them by 8 so we're expanding out the ratio at 40 okay so then this tells us the 40 people in year 8 have brown hair 16 people in year 7 and 24 people in year 6 okay so if we want to find how many in total have brown hair we need to add these up don't we we need to add these up okay 24 40 40 80 80 people have brown hair okay so we don't always need to find the total here if it gives us the information uh just along one of these we can we can work out there how much we're expanding it by isn't it okay let's just do one more before um we go to some word problem solving okay so say for example um Paul Alan and let's go with Harry so these are this is the ratio of money that they have in in their bank accounts okay this is the ratio of how much money they have in their bank account okay now let's say for example let's make it a bit trickier okay let's say that um harry has uh 25 pound okay so harry has 25 pound in his bank account okay so that means okay so we're going to put there 25 here okay so this is the information we have yep yeah, that he has 25 pound okay so how are we getting from there to there and this every times in by 12.5 so you may have to you you know these do also involve uh, fractions and decimals okay so i'd have to do the same here 
times that by 12.5. Okay, and I'm going to just do it down here. Okay, so I'm going to do 125 times 3. Okay, that's 253.75. 375. There's one decimal point in the question, so you get one in the answer. So they would get 37 pound 50. And then we'd have 7 times 12.5. Okay. So, so again, we're going to just, I'm going to just do 125 times 7. I know there's, okay, I'll put the decimal point in the 7. 5 is the 35. 2 7s are 14. 15, 16, 17. Carry the 1. Okay. So they would get, put the decimal point in, 87 pound 50. So you can see just by knowing, you can when you've got a ratio, if you just know one of them, from there you can as long as and then you can see how that is expanded out and you just expand the other the uh, you expand the other numbers okay right let's have a go at this question please okay oh well, fine. I think this is the toughest one isn't it let's do that one after have a go please at this question have a go at this question Okay, pause the video while you work it out, then press play when you're done. Okay. Right, let's have a little look through it. A question like this, the first thing you do is write down that ratio, okay? So the ratio is 2 to 5 to 9, and, I'll, and then... As Alex, I'll just put A for there, B, but Beth, Chloe. Almost as if it's meant to be, that was that. Okay. So Beth gets £35. So not, it's not giving me telling me the total, it's just telling me what Beth got. So Beth got £35. I'm just going to put 35 in there. So that is all the information that I, I know and all the information I need to get it correct, isn't it? So I look, how much am I expanding it by? How much is it? Yeah, times in by seven. So I do the same on here, 14, and I do the same here, times 7, 63. So the question is asking how much do the others get? So the answer to this is Alex equals 14 pound, okay, and Chloe equals 63 pound, okay. So remembering it's not enough just to leave the um to leave the ratio just sitting there you have to if it's a you know if it's a word question you have to specifically answer that question okay let's have a go at another one let's have a go at uh let's mix it up and have a go at this one next i think yeah let's have a go at that one please concrete is made by mixing cement sand and aggregate in a ratio of one three and six to make 65 tons of cement how much cement, sand and aggregate do you need? Okay, pause the video while you work that out and then we'll quickly go through it. So again, let's write down the one, three, six. First thing we do is write down the ratio to make 65 tons. So I can see that's a total, making 65. It's not giving me how much cement I've got, how much sand, cement, sand, aggregate. Uh, it, it's, it's given me the total so this is one where I do need to add them up so I have to work that out for myself do I need the total if it's given me a total I need to do that this way don't I so this comes to 10 and in total they do 65 isn't it 65 so I go from there to them times in 6.5 so I have to do this is yep yeah. so this is the information that, sorry this is the information I'm adding because it's given me the 65 isn't it okay so up to times by 6.5, that would be 6.5. Up to times this by 6.5, 3 times 6.5, 7, 19.5. Let me just check. 5, carry the 1. Yeah, 19.5. And then I've got 6.5 times 6. 6 fives are 30. No, carry the 3. Yep. Yeah. There we are. So that would then be 39. Could double that actually, isn't it? Okay. 39. Let's do the 
make sure we put the dots in so that's that's the ratio expanded out what's the question at how much cement you need so i'm just going to put c for short you can do the you would do the full with cement you need 6.5 tons then sand you'd need 19.5 tons and then aggregate you'd need 39 tons okay so that would be your answer okay right last practice one we're going to do here and then we'll be doing your work uh, doing your own work so can you have a go at this one please have a go at that question okay that's just 28 not 2.8 so the sides of a triangle are in the ratio of 2 to 4 to 5 the middle sized side is 28 centimeters what is the perimeter of the shape pause the video while you do that please and then we'll go through it when you're done right first thing i'm going to do is write down the ratio oh yep yeah. now what information have we got the middle size side is 28 centimeters the middle size size now this is the middle size isn't it because that's the, that's going to be the smallest that's going to be the longer side so this is the middle one so that's 28 okay so that is the information already given to me okay so I can work out how much we're expanding it by uh, seven fours are 28 times seven so we've got 35 14 okay that is not my answer okay what is the perimeter of the shape so these are the three different sides to find out the perimeter we add up all the sides so we have to calculate these two together don't we so 28 38 42 42 plus 35 at 77 so the answer would be 77 centimeters is the perimeter of the triangle okay perimeter equals 77 centimeters hopefully that's correct okay uh right uh so time for you to do uh, have a go yourselves okay right so page 187 could we do questions 11 to 15 now it's quite a short video and uh, it's not too many questions so i'd expect more of us today to do these extend questions please have a go at the extend don't just get get this done yeah and with 15 minutes left thank you yeah just have a go with some of these you don't have to do them all okay but you know give them a go if you get time okay so good luck with that everyone okay cheers bye